Welcome to this short vlog where I plan to take a look inside this uh, JBC clone soldering iron handle. This is the handle that came with the uh, unit uh, with the best 933B JBC clone station and I reviewed this in uh, vlog 340 a year ago and I've been using this station as my main soldering tool for the past year. I plan to do a future video where I tell you my opinion about uh, this station after one year of usage but the short story is obvious here because of the fact that it has become my main soldering tool you can tell i like the soldering handle that i received with this uh, station had a problem since day one first use when i inserted the tip inside the handle i could kind of feel there was something wrong in here there wasn't a clear stop when pushing it in and after powering on the station the screen was flickering and uh, I couldn't read the temperature and uh, this uh, wire got hot which is a good sign that something is shorted inside the handle which is not a good sign at all. I'm not sure if I am to blame because I might have push the tip too hard into the handle the first time. It's also possible that it had a factory defect inside the handle. Uh, other users of this station don't have this problem but long story short ever since I got it I had to be really careful uh, when switching tips because I, I needed to sit the uh, cartridge tip inside the handle very accurately at a certain depth and then certain position otherwise it would short circuit causing the uh, station to go crazy and heat up this wire. The sponsor of this video is PCBWay.com. They are a professional PCB factory which is equipped to provide a full service including SMT assembly, 3D printing, CNC as well as other manufacturing services so you can get your product from idea to reality. Check out their website, link below. They are currently running this cool feedback contest where they ask you for high resolution pictures of the PCBs or the projects you built using the uh, PCBs you got from them and they will be rewarding the best ones with some prizes. Now I did solve this issue a few months ago by getting myself one of these uh, genuine JBC handles uh, which is directly compatible. Uh, the uh, best is a direct clone of the original, it uses the same connector, same everything and I must say the JBC handle films um, uh, very firm when you insert the tip and there is a clear stop uh, like there is no question about it you know that you have inserted uh, the tip in the correct position. The genuine JBC handle also came with a couple of these uh, green foam pads and um, although I like the fact that the handle is uh, much thinner with without the foam pad like you see here on the uh, clone uh, at the same time it just feels better with this soft uh, foam in your hand for longer usage time. So I guess that is a feature you either like or you don't like uh, but it's very easy to take this out if you don't like it. In the meantime I've also sourced some genuine JBC cartridge tips and if you compare them to the clone tips that come with the station um, for example I have here one clone tip that came with the station. I have another clone tip that I have ordered from AliExpress and there is even differences between the clones like if you look here at this end one of the clone has a longer uh, end pin than the other one and there seems to be a bit of a different construction here where the uh, isolation between the different section happens. There are also some small differences if you compare it to this uh, JBC Genuine tip like the cartridge here is a bit uh, longer on the uh, Genuine tip and of course the, the distance between the uh, cartridge and the first contact is different. And you might say that there is a very slight uh, build quality difference with the Genuine tip having better isolation ring and by the way if you're curious about how these cartridge tips look like on the inside uh, there's a link to this Chinese forum in the description below uh, and a guy has taken a look at the genuine GBC tip and uh, has done some teardowns so check out that link for more images but what I really want to know in this video is what happened to the clone handle so let's try to take this apart and figure it out 
but I suspect the uh, internal spring contacts are bent out of shape and they uh, sometimes short together. This is probably going to be a destructive teardown as I don't think this handle was meant to be taken apart. It's probably glued together. It snapped and it comes apart. Oh, that This is definitely easier than I thought it's going to be. So this green part was glued with some CA glue because you can see this white residue here so it looks like it was glued in there with some CA glue okay so there is some nice attention to detail here even though this is a clone uh, it does have one of these uh, retaining clips in here so that when you pull on the wire it's not directly pulling on the connections we have heat shrink over the uh, ends of these connections and by looking at this very close, I think the issue is in this area and is a subtle issue, it's not very obvious. But if I insert this tip, we can kind of see how this connection can short to both of these terminals in this area. So I think that's our issue here. And if you try to insert the tip further down, it just stops in that black isolation ring which can't move uh, any further because of this uh, fork shaped contact here so i believe that's our issue so this can indeed be a a quality control issue these contacts in and the the whole system is probably copied from the uh, original jbc handle but while they uh, actually uh, manufacture it it seems that they don't have the same precision for positioning the, these contacts. So this actually might be salvageable uh, if I manage to find the uh, correct position for this contact so it stops uh, shorting. Not sure it's worth the trouble now that I have the genuine JBC handle which will last me a very long while. Uh, not sure if it's worth the trouble uh, but I'll just keep this one as a spare unit. So as expected the small spring contacts inside the handle are bent out of shape and the slightly lower build quality and lack of quality control maybe allows such problems to be delivered to the end customer. And to be honest I expected something worse in here but I was surprised to find just a slight issue with the contacts. They were not completely out of shape as I was expecting and there is good attention to detail to the way the wire hardness is handled inside the handle. It has some strain relief, the solder points are heat shrink and isolated. Uh, so those are all good things. I also have a uh, genuine JBC station on its way to me so I'll be able to compare the best station to the original JBC in a short while. Thank you for joining me in this short video. I hope this was fun to watch. I personally was very curious to see how this clone handle failed inside. Don't forget hitting that like button is free and helps the channel a lot but if you'd like to support me via Patreon you can do so with as little as $1 per month. Thank you and I'll be seeing you next time.